Hello and welcome to this BrainSight tutorial. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use BrainSight to visualize a scalp location that corresponds to the location of X, Y and Z coordinates within the brain. To begin, you will need to create a new BrainSight project or open an existing project. In this example, we'll be using the MNI standard brain. However, the process is also applicable to a BrainSight project containing the real anatomical MRI of a participant. Click New MNI Head Project. Once the project has been opened, select targets from the row of icons at the top of the window and then click Configure Targets. This will now give you the option to select a location for your target. You can alter the layout of the images in this screen by clicking here. There is no best layout, so choose an option that is most suitable for your site of stimulation. Here, a curved linear brain has been selected. Before inputting your coordinates, it is necessary to select the correct coordinate system from the drop-down menu in the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Given that we are using MNI coordinates in this example, we will keep the world slash MNI option that is currently selected. For real MRI projects, it would be necessary to first complete an Atlas space registration in one of the previous steps of the project in order for the MNI coordinate system to be available in this list. Now we will proceed to input the coordinates. Here we have selected right superior parietal cortex as our site of stimulation. An example of an experiment that stimulates this site can be found in the video description. Once the coordinates have been entered, you will notice that the crosshair has moved to the corresponding location in the 2D and 3D image views. It is possible to save this location as a marker using the new button at the top left of the screen. Although it is possible to use a marker as the basis for call positioning, it can also be helpful to define a trajectory to make the navigation more accurate and reliable. BrainSight allows the trajectory to be defined automatically or manually. To automatically optimize the trajectory, select Skin in the Optimize Trajectory Using option, then click on the center of the crosshair on the MRI view. This will optimize the trajectory based on the skin curvature directly above the intended cortical target. Manual changes can be made using the sliders on the right, including coil twist, which is not automatically optimized. Reconfirm that the coordinates entered are still correct, or update if necessary, then select New, Trajectory, and enter a suitable name. Having saved your target, close the Targets window and proceed to the Sessions tab. To start a new session, click New, then Online Session. You must now add the target required for this session. Select the desired target and then cl click Add, or simply drag it from the left-hand column to the right-hand column. Click Next Step to proceed. After completing the subject registration, we are now ready to start navigating the TMS coil to our intended target. First select the intended target in the target list in the top left hand side of the screen. This will then be displayed in the bullseye view. The bullseye view can be used together with other 2D and 3D view options within BrainSight to guide you to the correct location and correct orientation for this target. The curved linear option is often very useful, especially when oriented in line with the target trajectory as in this example. In this case, both the dot and the circle should align to the cross in the bullseye view in order for the coil to match the predefined trajectory. Thank you for watching.